This is a really nice wool jumper and there's nothing wrong with it except that the moths also think it's nice. So they've had a munch. Um, and that's very common because uh, wool is protein and moths like a good meal of protein. So what we're going to do is take a thread that is as close as you can get to that. That is important. Um, in a, if a really nice jumper uh, needs mending, it's worth buying the thread that you that matches. And when you're buying a thread, always make it slightly darker. That's important. So what I'm going to do is secure the thread. And I hope you can see this. Um, secure the thread over to one side. Now my aim is to go up and down these knitted loops, catching them. There we are. With the thread. And then go down the way. And I'm going to go over, to turn it, I'm going to go over the hole and catch the loops just on the back. I'm going vertically to begin with and then horizontally. And what I'm doing is pulling together the hole, but quite flat and evenly. There we are. So I'm just pulling it together a little bit. I'm not over pulling it. You can do this on small holes. When you have a very large hole, people traditionally darn. I'm not a great darner. So I'll think about demonstrating alternatives for large holes. There we are. So I think that's enough in one direction. And now I'm going to change and go in the other direction. So whereas I was going up the loops of the knitwear, now I'm going across the way. So that will be the horizontal line. I'm going to change. I've still got my finger behind, so maybe you'll be able to see a little bit of the hole. There we are. And so this is sort of filling, filling the gap with the remnants of the knitting, but keeping it nice and flat not bunching it. There we are, pulling it in slightly just so the hole is eliminated and filled with wool. There we are. And that's my last thread, I think. So can you see, that's the hole, one side still not filled, and this is the hole where we've gently pulled the edges of the munched area together. Now I'm going to secure my thread, clip it, then I'm going to press it with a steam iron and we'll take a look at that. So I'll leave one open and one shut to demonstrate. I'll trim that thread. So here we have the hole that's not filled and this is the hole that is filled so it's almost impossible and you, you feel perfectly happy about wearing that jumper again. You know, you wouldn't feel embarrassed and it looked mended. Wool responds well to steam and steam tightens the fibres of wool. Now you don't want to iron it flat because that can make it go a bit shiny. So I filled my iron with water and I'm going to just steam this, lifting the iron slightly over the wool. It'll make it damp and then just pat it flat. Now, because this is a small hole, you wouldn't notice that much difference with the pressing. But uh, if you leave it then to dry, those fibers that have been melted together will sit happily. And I think that's a pretty good job and it's a good jumper saved.